up here with the installation of a couple options here on this particular 10 inch. Uh, one is the finder scope. Uh, this customer opted for the Rigel uh, Quick Finder. So this is a really simple installation here. Um, we're just going to take this and it just snaps right up here. There's a little uh, button here on the back that you use to push in and the unit clips into place. So real easy, real simple right there um, for the finder scope. Uh, so some of our scopes come with uh, Telrads, some with optical finders. Uh, this one is the uh, Rigel Quick Finder, so that one goes on in real easy. Um, now the other option on this telescope, I'm going to swing it around here, and we're going to look down here on the mirror box. So uh, all of the uh, Teeter's telescopes nowadays, they come standard with the Kendrick, uh, what's called the Digifire 7 uh, dew heater controller. Um, so this is a really nice uh, addition to the telescopes. Uh, it allows us to use uh, several different uh, dew heaters on here and to vary the power to them so they all don't run at full power. Um, and then we have two dedicated 12 volt outlets here, uh, which we're going to use one of them to run the fans on the telescope, the dual boundary layer cooling fans. Um, so again, this is another simple installation. Uh, the unit comes with Velcro on the back, as we see here, and then matching Velcro here on the mirror box. So this simply takes and mounts here. Okay. And then note here, this RCA cable that's already on the mirror box, this is for your dual boundary layer cooling fans. So this plugs into one of the two dedicated 12 volt or non-variable plugs down here. So again, these four up here are for dew heaters, secondary dew heater, Telrad, or in this case the Rigel Quick Finder, eyepiece dew heaters, things along those lines. So this plugs into either five or six here. So uh, we'll just pick five, we'll plug that in. And then as soon as you plug this uh, cigarette lighter end into your battery supply, the uh, dual boundary layer fans will come on and they'll start running. Uh, to turn them off, when you're done running them, you simply unplug it from the box. Um, and we usually suggest about 45 minutes uh, running the fans, actually on a 10 inch. Uh, with this mirror, it's only 3 quarters of an inch thick uh, zero door primary mirror substrate. So this mirror, probably 15 minutes uh, with the cooling fans on, uh, it should be down to ambient temperature. So um, again, uh, one of the two here, plug it in on the bottom, and plug this in into your battery, and the fans will run. Um, so then we'll come back with some uh, last minute tips on upkeep on the telescope.